hospital in the nose ring she had because it was like hella infected i was getting yeah no matter i was cleaning it all the time and no matter what i did it just it would go away for like a day iffy on her skin is iffy on uh jewelry yeah so i think i was looking at coals and coal cells like uh solid gold and silver like um 18 gauge yes and some of them are like the nose <coughs> screws. And I think I'm going to wear the plastic until this fully heals again yeah. from oh, that. Totally. Just wearing plastic. Yes. Um, and then I want the one where it's like a screw, where it's like a hoop on the inside and like it lays inside the nostril. Yes, I know what you mean. I had to clean a girl in high school had one like that, but it like became one with her inside of her nose. Oh my God. And so she like never moved it? No. Uh, she ooh. never moved it and when she it? tried to get it out it was just so bloody <gasps> yep sorry went there oh that's nasty yeah uh-huh um i've been going through like a lot of privacy things and um i've actually yeah. had to read like policy acts and like united states like pr- it's crazy like i didn't realize how much there was to it yes um i've been doing all these mandatory like security uh like training modules online i think it's really cool i like i feel like i'm in school yes i feel Uh like i'm in school i'm taking sorry i love you i love you i'm taking an insurance class right now and it's very stressful like it's not like it's a you'll get fired if you don't pass it thing. It's just for us to learn more about what yeah. we're doing. And it's just, that's how I feel. I'm going to, it's like a lot it. of videos. And I, I watch them with my friend, uh, Brittany. Um, she's taking the classes with me, but like, we're like falling asleep watching these. Ours are, some of ours are literally, it's a TV series. They made a soap opera <gasps> That's of it. That's so cool. It is so cool. I might I love try that. to Google to see if I can find it. <gasps> that would be so fun. Like, if they have them released where you can see them publicly. Otherwise, there's no way I can access it. Yeah. Because I can only access it on location. Yes. And I have to have, like, a, just, just a ton of security that just kind of, it's... It blows my mind, yeah. and then it well, makes me yeah. feel good because I'm like, well, yeah, wow, you know, you this is super, ha- like serious mm-hmm. business. Yeah. Well, and if you think about it, back then a banker was like one of the highest jobs. Yeah, and I, I feel intimidated by it. Mm-hmm. I feel imposter syndrome about it. Like, definitely feel like yeah. I do not belong there. Yes, but I'm doing every. I'm doing just fine. You're you know? gonna feel like that for at least two more weeks. I'm just at telling least. you. I do have to say, um, I think it's because I was talking to Jesse Friday, yesterday, yeah. uh-huh. every couple of days, let's be honest. Yeah. Um, I miss our old co, some of our old co- co-workers uh, there. Just like Julie, Julie Amy, Amy, for me, for and- some reason, uh, Rochelle. <laughs> yeah. Rochelle. Like, I started sure. becoming like friends with her towards the end. I know. And then I love it was just, like Michelle. ripped away. <laughs> Even though you put your boobs on us, honey, it's Our whatever. John's. Our John's. <sighs> he recently watched my story. Which one? Your John? Yeah. <sighs> I'm like sweating. I for miss that. you. <laughs> like weird sweat. Yeah. Nostalgic. I'm yes. like, Ugh. like, and he changed his profile pictures in it for what for a moment. I thought he like broke up with his fiance. Did not. We're in the clear. False alarm. False alarm. Okay. Okay. Not um, that I would have been surprised. <laughs> oh. <Uh-oh! laughs> <laughs> um. But I really miss them. Yeah. As you guys, I as agree. everyone in the world probably knows, I just yeah. miss Jesse. <laughs> well, yes. And Julie. Literally, and Julie, those, my mom, yeah. and then my literal other buddy, my <laughs> other soulmate. Yeah. Oh, man. He's an asshole. I'm an asshole. Yeah. Um, I, I miss- literally think about if I ever see him in public, if I just flip him off and then go and hug him. Absolutely. <laughs> I'd probably cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I miss you as always. And it was weird not seeing you last weekend. It really was. Like, and it's just like, yeah. it feels like a different pace of life. And it's like one of those things. It's like when you first 
got pregnant and had a baby and we went from seeing each other every day and that sleeping was a next to each other at night. Well, after I had a you baby, it was a you for thing. That. I was preparing for that. But then you just stopped because you were giving me my space when I didn't want it. I know. <laughs> you were, like, trying, trying, to, you were trying to be a good friend and in reality, I needed you. <laughs> but we're fine people we're fine here we are we have a podcast (laughs) every wednesday (laughs) Uh, 10 (laughs) a.m eastern (laughs) (laughs) but um i don't know it just like i had a moment and maybe it's just like i i keep saying like and it's driving me insane it's okay um i feel as if i I'm in one of those transitionary stages again. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I'm saying goodbye to something. And weirdly, it's about my schedule. It's about working until it 5 is, p.m. Though. Well, it like, is. It's like deeply affecting I me. I was thinking about it a lot today. I'm like, I used to get off work at 2. Yeah. I used to get off work at 1 p.m. Yeah. Literally. I was thinking about it, I'm like, how crazy is it to think about how I used to get off work at two? And that's like when I'm coming back from my day. Yeah. I'm coming back from my lunch then. Yeah. It, I agree. It is a weird But part I still want to go to bed at the same time as if when <laughs> I worked at true. Yeah. Um, truth. And I'm like, I think I've just lost my whole life. And I you think didn't. I'm having a problem adjusting to that. Yeah. And I think it's because like where I'm working right now, it took me an hour to get to D D last night. Well, you started D and D. Well, no, you didn't. You know, when I worked at Gojo, yeah, but you were still driving to D and D from Worcester. I know that was only like it was like forty minutes. That extra twenty minutes really adds on. I would love that. Sorry, driving I for like an hour. Driving. I get so anxious because I feel like everyone's waiting for me. Listen, and they are. Yes, but listen. They love you, so they're going. That's why they're waiting for you. I know. If they didn't, they would start without you and then pick up when in. you were there. Yeah, like you're fine. Like you just need to re- kind of do some breathing. I know <laughs> stuff while you're in the car. Well, it'll help. Um, mental health trigger warnings. Yeah. So I didn't write it in this. But I weighed myself today. And that so, was you know, the that worst, worst possible thing, thing I could do. have done. And I was thinking, hey, I think I'll be okay. And I'm like, I ate Troyer's three times in the last 24 hours. <laughs> 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 but I was just like, instant distress. And then Andrew gets on the scale and he's lost a pound. <laughs> I'm like, <Well>. what? <laughs> yeah, that's Andrew, though. Yeah, yeah. Men and, in general. So then I was like, well... Since I'm bound to a a standing desk again, I'm like, I really feel like I need to pick a physical activity to start doing again. And I need some sort of accountability with it. Yeah. Um, Andrew doesn't want to do yoga with me. And I want him to do it with me. And I I would do it with you on FaceTime. We can do yoga on FaceTime. I'm not going to do yoga. I'm just telling you, you do your yoga. I'll do whatever I'm going to do. I have five workouts written up. Yeah. I Beautiful. remember those workouts I had written up that were like, yeah, yeah. That's I, what I would modeled do. them off of that. Yes. Cause you're a genius. Cause I'm not going to do, I'm not yoga. I'm not a yoga person. So actually when I was like, um, doing paperwork, there was one thing it said, if you have any kind of idea that I could either help save the bank money or, like some sort of incentive, like whatever kind yeah. of program, because no idea is a bad idea yes. necessarily. Yes. Um, it said, you know, you can submit it and um, I could get profit sharing of it over uh, to a certain percent. So cool. Because it's a, a small company. Yeah. I would actually get credit if I contributed something that was an incredible idea. Yes. I could be credited for something. Whereas I think that's our amazing. ideas got stolen less before. <laughs> Like, literally always. Yep. And it's kind of crazy to think about that. And I personally have been thinking, I listen to a lot of stuff where it says, like, talk to your health insurance because they may pay for or give you discounted gym memberships mm-hmm. if you go through them. Yeah. Discounted insurance premiums if you pay for your gym membership and go a certain amount of times yeah. a year. And I was thinking about once I, like, 
go through the health insurance and everything and see it. Yeah. Um, like after my 90 days, seeing if they have any kind of program like that. And if they don't be like, Hey, isn't this something maybe you could negotiate with insurance to see if this is a thing? Like, even if it's just getting a discount on a gym membership, literally, I think that would be awesome. Literally not smoking at my work. Get you a discount. Not smoking cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you're less of a liability. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that insane? Yeah. Uh, and they make everyone who smokes go off campus. You're like literally, you have to go down the street. Yeah, same with us. And cross over. There's you no can smoking. Not be on our side of the street. Yeah. So there's literally people standing in the middle of nowhere. You know where it's at. Yeah, I know where. And they're it's just at. standing on this corner smoking. <laughs> <laughs> at that point, I would just go to the Dollar General. A lot down of the road. people just drive yeah. around. <laughs> That's insane. Yes. Um, and I just love my husband. I, th- I think Me that's the last too. thing I want to say is I love my husband. Yeah. He's pretty great. Although he left the stove on. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about your husband. No, your husband. I enjoy my husband as well. He is a superhero right now. Thanks, I could not Josh. praise him anymore. Well, I could, but. <sighs> Are you done with your yeah, I'm fries? Done. That's why I'm just smiling at you. The l- fries I wanted to add in was. An episode isn't an episode without talking about our our periods. I'm like a week or two late. Showing no signs of it coming at all. There was a time when I was very moist. Moist. (laughs) Um, But no bleeding. You're welcome, Sean. Um, So we have a lot of facts of the week because uh, everything was worth mentioning and if i didn't mention it i would feel bad about it so in 1868 the first black u.s congressman was elected and the thing that blows my mind is that it was in louisiana and then he's a republican yeah his name he was a republican his name was john willis menard menard or menard i don't know Honestly, it could go both ways. And then in 1955... You don't want to mispronounce anything. Yeah. (laughs) We never mispronounce anything. Alex. (laughs) It will be mentioned in every episode. He's like, does she hate me or something? And I'm like, (laughs) if I had a person who was a guard dog, it'd be Nicole. (laughs) Yes, it would. Those guard dog TikToks and it's really like the goth friend walking behind Using my scary dog privilege. (laughs) Yes, it's literally me. (laughs) We should do one once you get your moto jacket. I will. And you could do your Viking mohawk. My Viking mohawk, yeah. I'm sorry. Please go It's okay. 1955, Carlton Schwartz and F.L. Schaefer uh, crystallized the polio virus. Their research laid the groundwork for the polio vaccine. Because I am here for all vaccines. Come for me. (laughs) Um, And then in 1957, Sputnik 2 was launched with the first live animal sent into space, a Siberian husky dog named Leica which means Barker in Russia, or Russian. Sorry. I wonder how the dog did. I hope I, she I lived. also wondered about it, but I did not research it. And then we have 2014. The One World Trade Center, also known as the Freedom Tower, officially opened. And then our t- banger of the week, our 2001's Family Affair by Mary J. Blige. <sighs> queen she is a queen forever but that's it that's our facts of the week so this week i i kind of know what we're doing and then nicole you're pioneering this this is your brainchild Uh, yeah it's definitely not my idea i just want to put that out there well no i listen to ladies and tangents do it and thought it would be fun for us to do all right cool i'm down um so this is like funny product reviews and we have to guess what they're talking about in the product review i'm gonna do my best if there's words in it that lead to what it is you can leave them out or put another word in place of it and then we have some product like 
uh, must haves for the holidays. Give like you guys this is some the, ideas. what they're pushing. Yeah, I looked it up. This is what 